Oh, what's up, Pisces? <clears throat> it's Tina from Trust and Truth Tarot. Hope you guys are all doing well. Um, we're here today to do your May 2018 general and or love forecast. We'll see what the cards have to say for you. Now, before we get started, I do want to say one thing, and that is a giant thank you to all of you. Um, this month, May 15th, marks my one-year anniversary of this channel. Um, I cannot believe the uh, number of subscribers we've gotten in one year, the number of views, and the number of readings I have done for you guys. Um, I've gotten to know so many of you through personal readings, just through communicating with you on the channel, um, instant go, everything. You guys rock. You're awesome. I am eternally grateful. Um, you guys have done so much for myself and my daughter. Um, and, you know, it, it's just been a tremendous thing really tremendous so thank you thank you from the bottom of my heart to everybody all right guys so let's get into your reading if you are new to my channel and you don't know how i do my general readings it's a nine card spread so i do three cards for your recent past three for your present three for your near future and then i also clarify using the after tarot and i pull a love uh card a romance angel oracle card by dorian virtue for you guys as well okay all right pisces let's see what's going on Pisces, Pisces, May 2018. Advice, guidance, general insight. Four of these are the X sign of Pisces. May 2018. Thanks. Okay. Feels good. Okay. Okay, <clears throat> Ooh, bottom of the deck, we do have the lovers. Some of you guys might be dealing with a Gemini person. Others of you um, might be experiencing either a soulmate connection, that type of energy, okay, a partnership. For, for others, though, as well, the lovers does represent the need to make a decision or choice, which is pretty important. I'm sorry, I keep getting a little pop-up here on my screen. Okay, um... The need to make an important choice or decision, okay? So that could be going on for some of you guys, too, in the month of May. Um, for your recent past, we do have the Queen of Wands, the Eight of Swords reversed, and then the Empress. Um, what I see here, some of you guys could definitely be dealing with a fire sign, uh, particularly Aries. If not, um, the Queen of Wands really, to me, represents you guys standing up for yourself, okay? Some of you... Uh, may have taken a stand for yourself recently, stood up for what you believe in, made your, yourself and your message known, and freed yourself from something, okay? So we have the Eight of Swords here. When that's in the upright, that's being trapped. And basically, it's trapping yourself into a prison. This could be your thoughts, feelings, emotions, or a situation, right? But a lot of you guys are breaking free from that situation now, okay? The Empress card, again, the card of Aries, but this could also be you taking a complete stand for yourself, okay? Some of you guys might be focused um, on your appearance this month as well. Um, could be that you're making some changes to your hair, your clothes, your nails, whatever, um, something like that. Uh, others of you, the Empress card does indicate pregnancy, so you may have found out that either you are pregnant or someone in your uh, life is pregnant, okay, or expecting. Um, the other thing she represents, though, is like a new, the birth of something new. So if you took a stand for yourself and freed yourself from a situation, you're now entering a space where you're embarking on something totally new, right? You're, you're, you're growing this um, new life or new plan or new idea or putting something into action there, okay? <clears throat> All right, so that's your recent past. So the present, we have the Four of Cups, the King of Cups, and the Fool. Some of you guys, the past returned, and you said, mm, yeah, no thanks. <laughs> okay, um, that could also be somebody doing that to you, Pisces, but the, the general message there with the Four of Cups is that you're rejecting an offer. Okay, for a lot of you, I feel like it is the past returning, or you returning to somebody from your past, or maybe you tried to start something new and it didn't quite take off, or somebody tried to make you a romantic offer, or something like that, and you were just like, I don't, I'm not getting a good vibe from this. I'm not going to go, you know, go with that. Um, but it is just turning something down, okay? King of Cups in the middle of your reading, Pisces. This could be you, your energy. Again, we've got a queen, queen of wands, king of cups, okay? But this is, um, 
emotionally stable. This is also offering emotional support. So either somebody might be giving you emotional support, you might be in a situation where you are giving someone support. You could be dealing with another water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, someone like yourself, okay, um, as well. So lots of different Lots of different things there, but kind of getting yourself to a more emotionally stable state, okay? I feel like you guys have been working on that. We'll clarify all this too, so don't worry. But, um, you know, becoming more grounded emotionally is what I see. <clears throat> now, Pisces, the next card you have in your present is the Fool, okay? Another card of Aries. Very strong Aries energy here. If you're not dealing with an Aries... Um, this, the Fool is a brand new beginning, okay? It's not looking before you leap. It's just kind of taking a risk and going with it, right? So something either brand new coming in for you guys or you guys choosing to start fresh. For a lot of you, if you freed yourself from a situation that you were tied to in the past, okay, this means that you have now taken on that energy where you're ready to face the world. You're ready to embrace this brand new start that you've created for yourself, something like that. Um, for some of you, though, this is going to be a very big surprise, okay? I just got that energy as well. Um, something might come through that's either surprising or shocking for you, which kind of catapults you into this new beginning, okay? And the reason I say surprising or shocking is because we have uh, several cards here down in the near future, so kind of coming into the month of May, maybe later on in the month, that might be a little um, surprising to you, okay? So for, for some of you, this fool is that you're going to be entering into a relationship, okay? So Nine of Pentacles reverse means somebody who is no longer single. Uh, that could possibly be. The other thing is, though, she, Nine of Pentacles upright is very stable energy, okay? She's someone who supports herself, has all of her shit together, that kind of stuff. So some of you might get... Uh, hit with an unexpected either financial issue. This could be a large bill you have to pay or maybe something going on with your job, um, something like that. <clears throat> or it could be that you're feeling unsteady or unstable in any aspect of your life really, okay? Um, so it can go, go two ways there. Um, the next thing I have here, Pisces, is... <clears throat> Please excuse me, goodness gracious the four of wands reversed. Okay, this is disruption or discord in your home life. Okay, so, um, you know, for some of you guys, things are getting rocked this month. Um, like I said, we'll clarify to get a little more information. But if you've been having this feeling like you're going to be starting fresh, maybe rejecting somebody from the past, maybe moving out from your house, if you're not happy where you're living or you're having some sort of breakup or something like that, a new beginning, then um, that is a disruption in the home life, okay? Um, this could also be canceled plans, Pisces. So if there's like a big party or event or celebration, um, those uh, that, that could be put on hold or postponed or even canceled altogether, okay? Next card we have is Justice Reverse. Some of you guys are dealing with a Libra. Um, who's not quite acting right, okay? The others uh, others of you, um, Justice Reverse does indicate legal matters. A lot of times when I see it come in uh, to a reading, it does indicate divorce. So that may be on the table for some of you guys, okay? Um, others of you may be involved in something else legal. It could be criminal. It could be civil lawsuit. It could be a parking ticket, you know, whatever. Um, but it does indicate maybe something not going exactly as planned in the legal, legal or law department, or being treated unfairly, okay? Not getting justice out of a situation, not seeing, like, uh, things being just, you know, fair, okay? All right, so <clears throat> let's talk about this Queen of Wands in your recent past. Ooh. Okay, so yeah, Four of Cups reversed, all right? So we have Four of Cups here in your present in the upright. This person, and this, especially if this is a fire sign, you, uh, this this would say, again, you've probably entertained uh, somebody coming in and out of your life for a while, all right? So you've either accepted them back multiple times or um, you've had... You've had somebody that was, again, just this in and out energy, okay? And I do just get somebody that you've already been dealing with, okay? Um, maybe somebody made you an offer before and you turned it down and then you said, okay, well, I'll give you a chance. I'll give you one more chance to fix this or make it right. And you did and obviously it didn't work out that well because you needed to free yourself from it, which is the Eight of Swords reversed. 
Let's see what's going on with the Eight of Swords reversed. Queen of Cups reversed. Okay, again, this is about, this is you as a Pisces. You're the Queen of Cups, okay? So whatever this was that was keeping you trapped, whether this was a situation, a person, a place, whatever the case may be, um, it was causing you to feel emotionally unstable, all right? We see Queen of Cups reversed. She can be a little, you know, a little out there. Um, not saying anything bad, but is she it's it's where she's in a position in her life or in a situation that causes her to act erratically. Okay, she's somebody that I see that like screams at people and throws things and just gets very emotionally imbalanced. And um, I think a lot of you guys took a good hard look at what was causing that and said, you know what, I'm I'm freaking done. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm getting out of here. I don't want to be like that anymore, you know? And then we have the Empress. <clears throat> Why is the Empress here? Because she's taking control of her stability, of her foundation, of her home, of her family, okay? Four of Wands. Happy home, happy family. That's what the Empress does. She brings that to the table, okay? So instead of letting somebody put you in this position, right, where you're totally off your rocker, emotionally unstable, not feeling good, feeling very um, just out of your element emotionally, okay, um, especially if it's somebody that you've been dealing with or somebody from your past, you, you take a stand as the Queen of Wands and you say no, no more, you know? This is what I want. This is what I'm going to get. And that's what Pisces is, is has done, okay? So now we have this energy that comes back in, okay? After you've rejected and entertained it and rejected and entertained it, and it's just a cycle, okay? This energy comes back <laughs> to make you another offer, okay? So what does Pisces say? Who is this person? What's going on with this Four of Cups? Moon reversed. See, look, Pisces has had it. Either that or Pisces had found out some shiz, a secret. Okay, now the moon is your card, okay, Pisces, but it is reversed, all right? So what do we have here? Secrets coming to light, things coming out from, from behind the shadows of the moon, okay? You may have found out something about somebody or some situation you were dealing with, and you were like, oh, hell no, uh-uh, right? And this, this might be something that, again, came as a complete surprise or shock or maybe not. You know, you're very intuitive, Pisces. You may have suspected something was going on, definitely. But whatever it is, whatever you found out, the secret that had been going on behind your back or something you didn't quite have full confirmation on, but now you do, you're like, I, I'm out of here. Like, don't even talk to me anymore, that type of thing, okay? King of Cups. Why is the King of Cups here? Page of Swords reversed. Aha. Okay. So being strong emotionally, even in adversity, as far as Page of Swords go. Okay. Pages are messengers. Swords are communication. Again, we have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, but that's that's not what I see when I see this card. The main message with the Page of Swords reversed is rumors, gossip, and drama. Okay. Especially as it relates to the internet, social media, or somebody that's very immature bringing in this like, ooh, girl, did you hear what he said and she said, and mm, let me tell you, blah, 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 blah. And there's always like a half-truth element to the Page of Swords reversed, okay? They elaborate things. Um, they, they like the element of um, shock and surprise and drama. You know, it's, something, it's somebody that like can't wait to call you and text you, um, you know, the latest and greatest. This is like, you know, somebody that follows the Kardashians religiously. <laughs> I'm, I'm no, no hate to the people that follow the Kardashians, but you know what I'm saying? Like, they really, really, really like that type of um, intense drama, and they like to tell everybody about it. These, this person can't keep a secret. Some of you guys might have an air sign child, okay, who may be acting, um, may, be, may be giving you a hard time, okay? That's that's one one way we can look at it, and you're being the, the stable one there and saying, like, oh, my gosh, no, you know, uh, I'm not going to let you um, get me upset. I'm going to deal with this as a as a rational person versus getting all bent out of shape about it, okay? So that's another another thing we might have there, okay? Um, all right, the Fool card, the Fool. Why is the Fool here? Wow. So, Pisces, this is, this is cool. Um, 
you have a new beginning, and look at that. It's a six of cups. That's soulmate, all right? That's like, um, that's like a burning twin flame type of person, okay? So some of you guys have left uh, one relationship to go into um, something much better for you, okay? You might have rejected offers from another person or have rejected someone from your past so that you can move forward into something that's really loving, you know, and somebody that is a good partner for you because it feels like whoever, for those of you that, that this relates to as far as love goes, um, you know, it, it just feels like you, you struggled so hard, Pisces, and you fought against losing this person for so long, um, but you, you, you ended up realizing that it was toxic, you know, it was not emotionally stable, and stability is what you were craving, right? You wanted somebody that was going to offer you the same amount of love as you were offering them, so you you rid yourself of whatever that energy was, but I think it took something to catapult you. Again, I feel like it was like a secret revealed that catapulted you into this new new life, essentially, okay? For those of you that haven't met anybody, maybe you've gone through a breakup, but you haven't met anybody, this is a strong indicator, Six of Cups and the Lovers, very strong indicator that you do have right around the corner soulmate energy coming in, Okay. Just please keep that in mind. If this is related to your career, it might be that you left one job to start something completely new because you were very unhappy with the old job, but this new beginning for you is so much more emotionally fulfilling. You feel so much happier um, at the new place than you did at the old one, okay, or in the new position. All right. Why is the Nine of Pentacles reversed? Why is the Nine of Pentacles reversed? And that would make sense that she's here with this energy here because this does indicate a relationship, okay? Um, she's no longer single. Let's see. Queen of Wands again. She's here twice. Fire, fire, fire all day long, Pisces. Aries, Leo, Sag energy. Um, yeah, for some of you guys, it's a fire sign that comes in. Others of you, it's because you, you, you know, you grew the pair that you needed to take a stand for yourself, finally standing up for yourself, Pisces, about freaking time, you know, um, and, you know, even if it took, even if the stand that you took caused a certain amount of instability or uncertainty in your life, you were willing to take it, you were willing to embark on the fool, because I think a lot of you guys know intuitively that, you know, something better, way better is coming in for you, okay? Let's see. Four of Wands reversed. Why is the Four of Wands reversed? Look at that. See? It's judgment. This is divorce for a lot of you guys, all right? I would not be shocked at all with this card here, too. Justice, judgment, and then the, the home life kind of turned upside down there, okay? But you have to understand, too, with judgment, this is divine guidance, okay? This is the universe bringing you exactly where you need to be in life, okay? And what the universe does is it picks up those that have been good, that have put, put, put good karma out into the universe, right? Takes those into under under its wing, okay? And then it leaves behind these people that didn't, right? It's like Judgment Day, okay? Let's find out why Justice Reversed is here. anxiety but here's the thing this is anxiety sleepless nights grief depression but here's the thing you're battling those demons Pisces this is all about taking a stand okay for you yes it's scary yes you know there's no question about it um terrifying even you know so this is a pretty ugly freaking lizard okay but when you look at it in the sense that you know, you're not just sitting idly by anymore and letting the lizard attack you. You've got a sword in your hand. You're ready to have some, you know, lizard stew for dinner tomorrow. You're, you're over it, right? You don't want to live in a space or in a place where, A, you're not being treated fairly, okay? Or, B, um, you're not getting what you deserve out of life or what you truly want out of life, okay? Um, so you're willing to battle off this fear and this anxiety in order to balance the scales, you know, turn things in your favor, get treated fairly for once. Let's just go ahead and clarify the lovers up there. 
lovers there for Pisces. The Empress reversed. Whoa. That's a horse of a different color. I kind of like <laughs> Now I'm seeing things a little bit differently. All right, Pisces. Ooh, la, la. Because she's upright, okay, in, in your recent past. But she's reversed crowning your, or clarifying your crowning card. Yeah, I think some of you guys, you know, if you are a mother, it's it's a choice to, like, leave a situation, even though you have children, okay? That's definitely coming through there. Um, others of you, you know, are battling to make a choice and to get something off the ground to, to start something new. Because, again, she represents fertility, the birth of new ideas, the birth of new... Um, patterns in life, new things in life, right? So you're struggling to make this like this, right? It's this choice you have to make this decision, you know, um, in order to get her, uh, in order to get the ball rolling for you, essentially, okay? All right, let's pull your Romance Angel Oracle card and close it out. Wow, Pisces, this is a pinnacle month for a lot of you. Um, I know, you know, I know a lot of you have been going through it for a while, but it seems like things really start to come to a head in May for you as far as making these important changes and decisions because, you know, Pisces, let's not, let's not sugarcoat it. I know a lot of you guys, and sometimes you're indecisive, right? You take the past back a lot. You forgive, you forgive, you forgive. You're scared to move on, okay? But I think for a lot of you Pisces, this is it. Like, you're like, I am at the end of my rope. I'm moving forward, and that is that, okay? All right. Romance card for Pisces. Healing family issues. Um, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So this obviously does not have to relate to your parents. I don't know why the description of the card is like that. But again, it's, it's a lot of you guys, it's marriage. You know, it's children. It's divorce, okay? Um, it's needing to forgive someone. Your mother may be big because the Empress is here twice, okay? Um, so is the King of Cups could be a father, okay? But it, it's, it, so I mean, it could relate to parents. But it's all, it's about family matters, you know, and if you are going through something where there is a divorce or separation in, in a family to, you know, type situation, which does seem to be indicated here, um, you know, just make sure you keep in mind, do the right thing, do what's right for your children. They come first and foremost. Um, I know that's not hard for you to do and it depends on who you're dealing with, um, as to how they respond or react to that, but please try to keep that in mind. Okay. Um, all right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. Have a great month of May. Again, lots of positive changes here, guys. May not seem positive in the in the minute that they're happening, but you guys have some really cool stuff coming in, okay? If you allow these changes to happen, rid yourself of things that are no longer serving you, relationships that are toxic, toxic people, toxic situations, get rid of them, okay? You don't need it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching again, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.